during a time period where we see highly rated draft prospects opt out of bowl games and highly rated recruits opt out of their senior years, it has become rare to see a player fight back and risk it all to be able to play for his team. Travis Shaw could have given up on returning for a senior year at Grimsley High School to focus his rehab for his freshman year at North Carolina, and no one would have blamed him. Instead, he woke up every morning and did everything he could to return. But who is Travis Shaw, and why is he a future star for North Carolina? Stay tuned to find out. Travis Shaw is originally from Greensboro, North Carolina, and originally played quarterback in middle school due to his athleticism. Travis attended Grimsley High School, where he would make an immediate impact playing in 12 games as a freshman, finishing the year with 52 stops, 41 solo tackles, 13 tackles for a loss, 6 quarterback hurries, and, and 2 fumble recoveries. As a sophomore, he finished with 38 tackles, 25 solo tackles, 10 tackles for a loss, 6 sacks, 3 quarterback hurries, and a pass batted down, a fumble recovery, and 5 forced fumbles. He helped Grimsley finish 12-2 and, and make it to the North Carolina 4A state semifinals. During the abbreviated spring season this year, Travis's junior year, Shaw finished with 84 tackles, 28 tackles for a loss, 16 quarterback hurries, and 5 sacks. Travis would finish the season being named All-State and help lead Grimsley to a 28-8 win over Gibbons in the state championship game, finishing 10-0. It was Grimsley's first state title win since 1960. The issue was, Travis left the game late with a shoulder injury that would require surgery. He underwent surgery around three weeks later and faced an admittedly daunting recovery process. He was working on a condensed recovery timeline because he wanted to enroll early in college. Due to the condensed timeline, he could not miss a beat rehabbing if he wanted to return to the field. While his teammates worked throughout the summer workouts, Shaw attacked daily rehab hard, waking up at 6am for four months to make it back to the field. Shaw spoke on rehabbing telling the Fayetteville Observer, seeing them push through it, it just gave me momentum and strength. I was like, if they can push through it, you can push through it, my man. Some of them could barely lift their legs up, so just looking to my left and to my right and seeing some of those people helped me get the job done. While some players may have given up on their senior high school season as a highly rated prospect, Travis fought to return rather than opting out, and when he got the chance to return, he came back even stronger. Shaw spoke on his return to the Fayetteville Observer saying, I'm not a quitter, so nothing's going to stop me from going out there and competing and battling with my guys every Friday night. I started this, so I want to finish it. Shaw impressed his head coach, but he also never doubted he would do everything to return. When he returned for his first game after the injury, Shaw wasn't completely happy with his performance, but was happy to be back on the field. North Carolina's Mac Brown told Shaw, if you're able to get cleared, then you're going out there and playing. Shaw was able to play in four games starting his senior year, with his team finishing 11-1, but losing to Porter Ridge 41-27 in the second round of the playoffs. Shaw also played basketball, averaging 6.5 points, 7.6 rebounds, 2.2 assists, and 1 steal per game as a junior. Travis will finish his high school career playing in the Under Armour All-American game. Hey you! Yeah! You! How do you think Travis Shaw will do at North Carolina? Let me know in the comment section below. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it because it really helps the video and the algorithm. As of now, according to 24-7 Sports Composite, Travis Shaw was a 5-star recruit who was the best player in North Carolina, 2nd best defensive lineman, and 4th best player nationally. He collected over 13 different Division 1 offers as an underclassman, but finished with over 28 different Division 1 offers from likes of Alabama, Clemson, Georgia, North Carolina, and Ohio State. Shaw's college choices came down between North Carolina A&T and HBCU, North Carolina, Clemson, and Georgia, announcing the final four schools back in June. North Carolina was the only school to reach out the day of his surgery. They remained in his ear throughout his rehab. Multiple reports talked about how the two frontrunners towards the tail end of the process were Clemson and North Carolina. Through the way North Carolina stayed up with Travis throughout his rehab, Shaw chose to commit to the Tar Heels and spoke on the Tar Heels 2022 recruiting class saying, you're going to get some dogs coming in, and from the first day, we're going to be ready to roll. We're going to be locked in, and we're going to get the job done. Shaw would sign with North Carolina during the early signing period and spoke on his commitment to Inside Carolina, saying it was home. Throughout the recruiting process, North Carolina never changed up from point A to point B to where we are now. The love's been consistent. Just having the feeling of walking on campus and everybody knowing who you are before you even step foot between those doors, it's a special feeling. According to 24-7 Sports' Chris Singletary, Travis Shaw is projected to be a future first-round pick with a comparison to Akeem Hicks. 
Singletary writes, Shaw's a thickly built player with a powerful lower half. Dan's six foot six and weighs 330 pounds, he is still athletic enough to play all over the defensive line with great production. He is light on his feet and makes plays off the edge and in the interior. With his power and bull rush, he does an excellent job pushing the pocket and causing disruption. Shaw's excellent awareness and is able to read and react to plays that are away from him, chasing them down from the backside. He has good flexibility in his hips and he can drop his weight and turn the corner when rushing the passer. He has to continue to work on playing with a lower pad level and utilizing his hands when he gets off of blocks, along with adding pass rusher moves to his game. Shaw brings athleticism not normally seen in a player his size, which makes for his upside being off the charts and him projected to be a power 5 starter for multiple years. I think that he projects as an all-conference player with the chance of being a first-round pick in the NFL draft. Dale Brown, Shaw's high school head coach, told Cleveland.com he's very skilled for that size. He's a really good athlete, moves well, has great footwork. When I said he's skilled, he can do a lot of things on the football field or basketball court. He could throw the football for 65 yards. He used to be the middle school quarterback. He's just a really skilled player, gifted athlete in a lot of ways. Personally, I think Travis Shaw could be a future star for the North Carolina Tar Heels. But what do you think? How will Travis Shaw do at North Carolina? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out my other videos right here. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, remember to embrace the grind.